gaming rig. And when people see it, I get asked one of two questions. The first question usually is, can it do 4K? And the second question is, can it run VR? Let's take a look inside this big black box and see if it can run VR. As we pull off the cover and take a look inside, I kind of have the same question. Can it run VR? I'm a computer. I'm sneaking down to the professor's lab. All right, spoiler alert. I've already ran preliminary tests on this laptop and I'm pretty sure as long as this thing is plugged into that wall, we're gonna have no problem doing virtual reality. However, I'm gonna take it two steps further. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up the super sampling rate of the HTC Vive. This essentially means that the graphical card is gonna output a higher resolution than the HTC Vive can handle, giving you a clearer image inside of the goggles. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this thing from the wall and see if it can still do virtual reality. That may sound like a dumb idea, but when I was running tests on this laptop, once unplugged from the wall, the delta between being plugged in and having full power and being on battery wasn't massive. So I'm gonna kinda see what can happen. Also, if you wanna know how to super sample your own HTC Vive, I'll include instructions in the details below. So as you watch gameplay footage, I'm going to give you my final thoughts. First, the original question. Can this razor blade laptop powered by a GTX 1060 pull off VR? Yes, but to be fully honest, I did notice very infrequent stutters in the headset. These stutters were very few and very far between, but I still feel this tiny issue should be noted. It is not a shock that these few stutters occurred, especially since this 1060 is a laptop version of an introductory VR card. Even after saying this though, I can honestly admit that I would have no issues using this laptop as my VR driver, especially if it was my only option and I really wanted to play virtual reality. I'm a computer. Next question, can it super sample? Meh, kind of. While testing with a super sampling multiplier of 1.5, I noticed that some games did look better, while other games seemed as if the world was vibrating any time I moved my head. Kicking that multiplier up to 2.0, some games that used to vibrate at 1.5 were now smooth, and some games that were smooth now vibrated. Throwing a frame counter into the mix, the only assumption I could grab was that, since the Vive refreshes at 90Hz and super sampling reduces the frame rate to below 90Hz, the only way to get smooth gameplay is if those frames could be evenly distributed throughout that 90Hz refresh rate. So, if you want a super sample, you may have to fiddle on a game-to-game -game basis just to get it to work properly. Can you hear me? Check, check, check. Good stuff. Finally, can this laptop play VR unplugged? Yes. In fact, this laptop pulled off VR gaming unplugged just as good as if it was on wall power. This can definitely be a laptop in a bag solution if you wanted to walk around and play games without tripping on cords. However, to achieve this, you do have to go through all of your settings and make sure that your laptop is maxed out. This will get you an hour of life playing unplugged, but the fact that this laptop can pull off VR unplugged impresses me. My initial fear that this laptop may not be able to play VR Unplugged came when running 3D Mark. The score Unplugged was about 10% lower than when on wall power, and 10% can mean a lot for gameplay. However, the makers of 3D Mark recently came out with a new test called VR Mark. According to these synthetic tests, this laptop runs VR Mark at a less than 1% difference when testing on wall power versus battery. So the conclusion of being able to play regardless of plug or unplugged is supported in both synthetic and real world testing. So in conclusion, will it VR? Yes. Will it super sample? I mean, I guess as long as you don't mind doing some fiddling and some testing. And will it play unplugged? Definitely. Also, aside from the whole VR thing, uh, after a long play session, the fans did kick into high gear and did start screaming. Uh, they didn't get blow dryer loud, but they did get up there. But the thing that impressed me is that the laptop did get warm to the touch, but it did not literally start cooking like some metal laptops will. Anywho, that was my Will It VR video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them below. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>